Sector. New at 10, pension costs for Quincy police and fire expected to rise by $3 million over the next six years. And that has local officials concerned about how the city is going to pay for that increase. WGEM's Kaylee Pfeifferling joins us live tonight with more on what city leaders are now discussing. Dylan and Alexander, the rising cost of police and fire pensions is something that Quincy aldermen have continued to struggle with, and it's only going to get worse. But one alderman is now stepping up, pr proposing ideas on how to get ahead of this pension problem. Every time someone hits it big on one of Quincy's video gaming machines, a portion of the money is going into Quincy's fire and police pension fund. We are using video game revenue, uh, green energy, funds. Um, hopefully there'll be some cannabis money coming in since we just passed that. Might be some online sales tax coming in. But city leaders say over the next year they expect gaming machine revenue to plateau. The first time since the city first allowed video gaming back in 2012. And if we're not seeing more money come in from video gaming machines, that's going to affect the amount of money going into the city's pension fund. Uh, if we're going to fund this at the proper level to be able to get ahead of the curve, um, and maintain the funding that we have to because it is an obligation. There's really only one answer. It's going to have to be a new tax. At last night's city council meeting, second ward alderman Jeff Bergman started this discussion by saying the city will be paying $7.1 million in police and fire pensions just this year and a projected $10 million by the year 2025. We've said it before, the elephant in the room, it's, it's, a, it's a cost that's not going away. We're never not going to have this conversation, save for a third tier where it becomes a 401k type system. Bergman says the problem doesn't solely lie on local entities. Pension costs are rising at a state level. A lot of people sit there and say we need to have everybody hired after a certain date as a 401k plan. Everybody else is grandfathered in. Um, but until that changes, this is a system we have to deal with. You may be asking why the city doesn't use more money from their general funds or from another source in order to fund this so we don't have to see yet another tax. But Alderman Bergman says they can't take away from other departments right now. He says central services is already understaffed as it is, and we continue to hear complaints from residents about city roads and potholes. So he just wants residents right now to start thinking about how to fund this pension problem. And he says a possibility could be a property tax increase. Reporting live in Quincy, Kaylee Pfeifferling, WGEM News. Okay, Kaylee, thanks so much. Jeff Bergman also says the mayor has agreed to incorporate pension talks into his town hall scheduled for next year in order to, in order to get the public's input on how they want to deal with pension costs. Bergman also suggested forming a specialized committee that looks specifically at pensions and how the city can fund them.